Hey y'all, welcome to another video of mine here on uh, Let's Roll Outdoors. Uh, I don't know. What do you think about this guy? Have any idea what that thing is? If you don't, we'll stick around and you'll find out and see what happens today. Uh, if you do know what it is, stick around anyways. We got some goofy stuff coming up. A quick little fun video with these guys right here. Or at least with this one right here. Alright, hey, thanks for clicking another video. Some uh, fun little action coming up real quick. Hey y'all, check this out. I'm doing some small water fishing back here on a little creek here in Virginia. And I got a snakehead. I got about a, like a, I don't know, about a two pound snakehead. And he got me wrapped up in a tree on a small rapala jerk bait. Look at this. Never caught a snakehead before. That's my first one. First snakehead. I'm going to see if I can get him out of this tree. Here's what we got going on. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I've got a snake head. I've emptied out my pockets. It's kind of deep right here. I'm gonna get this sucker. I've never caught one before. I got pliers in one hand. Here's the fishing pole. And because I didn't know what I was doing, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, he's out of the tree. He's out of the tree. I'm about to be in the creek. I'm about to be in the creek. I'm about to be in the creek. <laughs> Folks, check this out. We got a snakehead here. Never caught one before. I'm gonna get him out here in the opening. Look at that. On the fire tiger Rapala jerk bait. Let's oh, get him in. God. It looks like a snake. We have to get him in. Is it a type of snake? It's a fish. It's a... Okay, so, are you filming me? Yep. All right, so here's the deal. These snakeheads, they want you to get rid of them, right? It's an invasive species from Asia. And now they're, they're all up and down the East Coast, uh, invading our waters and eating everything. Um, so we're going to get this guy out of here. i got to get down to where our bank is a little bit lower, though. All right, let's, let's go on down here. The cameraman's the one who has the toughest job, guys. The cameraman has to do all the hard work. And that cameraman is me. All right, there we go. Oh, hold on. I don't really have a good shot in Whoa, case it comes off. Can you see him? Yep. See the snake head right here? Grab him! Well, I don't want to mess with him. I just want to grab him. What'd you use? A little jerk bait? Yeah, he caught him on my jerk bait. Okay, please don't flap because I'm going to get that jerk bait in my arm. Look at that sucker! Like a two or three pound snake head. Check him out! Alright, pretty cool little show right here. Here, come up. Oh, look at that. My lure just came out. The lure just came out. So check this guy out. Daggone snakehead. I don't even know what to do with this thing. I've never caught one before. It looks like a snake. It looks look like Look at a... that, guys. Look at that. That's big. I wasn't even I wasn't even making a show today. But I just happened to hook this guy randomly. And we're gonna post this on YouTube. Catching snakeheads and small waters here in Virginia. All right, pretty cool, all right? So hey, just get out there and have some adventures. This was supposed to be just a, a, a random trip with my kids hanging out, letting them catch some bluegill, some bass, and some uh, some little creeks like this. We end up catching this big old snakehead, like a two pounder. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. All right, so hey, I'm gonna wrap this up. This isn't a, this isn't a whole edited music cool video with intros and outros and all that kind of stuff. This is just, hey, we're on YouTube. We caught a snakehead. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me show you what I caught him on. Sorry, I'm getting eat up by mosquitoes. Our first snakehead back in Virginia. And this is what I caught him on. Here, a little Rapala uh, mini jerk bait, right? Chartreuse colored, fire tiger chartreuse. But these things will hit anything. They hit jigs, they hit crankbaits, top waters, whatever. They hit it. Like this one. All right. All right, so hey, keep watching our videos. I'll keep posting some more. But here's the catch of the day a snakehead. I got it. All right, shut it off. All right, everyone, so we're out of the woods now. We're actually gonna take this home. We're gonna cook him up. That'll be part of this show, all right? We're gonna fry up some snakehead. I've heard they're actually pretty good eating. But while we're out here, before it gets too dark, I was trying to get his mouth open so you can see his teeth. These suckers are voracious. You like that word, voracious? Yeah, Predators, all right? Your no, pliers so you can... please. All right, see if we can see inside his... Dude does not want to open his mouth. He's eating the rod now. <laughs> you can see his teeth. He's got like some fangs there. He's got a bunch of nasty things up top. All right. Oh, now he doesn't want to give me my fishing pole back. <laughs> All right. 
snakeheads in Virginia. Invasive species, one less in the water right now. Hey everyone, welcome to our kitchen. We just got back from fishing, got that snakehead here. What I've done already, I've cut the head off, right? Because I have a small cutting board. Usually I'll clean all my fish outside, but it's dark outside and uh, we're gonna try to make a video. So I have all the light in my kitchen and what we're gonna do is basically fillet this sucker and just fry him, all right? Just like you would any other fish. I've looked up a bunch of stuff online and uh, that's what we're gonna try to do here today. So what I like to do when I'm filleting, and I'm not real familiar with a snakehead, all right? So like I said, I've already cut his head off just for uh, room here, all right? And basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get it started, and what I like to do is just go right along the top fin, the dorsal fin, and get it started, and feel my way down the fin. Okay, so we've switched this, the camera angles here, and you can see what I'm doing here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my cut started right on down the dorsal fin of the fish, all the way down, the whole length. Okay, I'm almost at the tail end here. When I get to about the tail, I'm going to poke it through, and I'm going to kind of angle my knife down like that along the backbone, but I'm not going to cut all the way through. I'm going to leave it a little bit there because I'm going to skin this fish, all right? I like to skin my fish when I fillet him. And then what I'm gonna do is just follow the backbone along this thing, follow the bones, and cut as close as I can to the, to the bone to get as much meat as I can off of this fish. And you can see it's a nice fillet starting right here, right? Just cut along the backbone there. All the way, and I'm gonna do that the whole length of the fish, and I'm gonna flip the fish over and do the same thing on the other side, okay? There we go. Okay, here we go. We stripped that thing down, flapped the fillet over. What I did, I just kind of followed the bone, flipped it over, okay? And this is how you're gonna skin the fillet, all right? We're just gonna start right here where we left the skin attached. Make sure your, your knife is sharp, okay? You're gonna cut down to the skin, and then you're gonna just follow the skin all the way along, okay? And you're gonna press your knife on an angle against the skin, all right? And just follow that fillet all the way down. And that's what I like to do with my fish fillets, all right? I like to make, I like to skin them. Hey, if you like uh, skin on your fish, you don't have to do this. But this is just an easy way to skin the fillet. Boom, like that. Got a little, little thin right there, but that's all right. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna go through here in the middle of the fillet. There's usually the, uh, the center bones right there. I'll go ahead and pick those out. I'll go through and make sure I get all the rib bones out. And then I'll have a nice fillet right there. And then we're on to the next step. And I am just cleaning out these fillets. All right, making sure they are fit for consumption. All right, what are we gonna do? Clean these suckers out and do the normal frying process over here. Now, I will warn you, all right, this is just uh, informative right here that um, I started seeing some little brown spots in them, started cutting them out, and it looked like worms to me. I was like, what in the world? So I looked it up online. It is common to find a red parasitic worm in the flesh sometimes of the snakeheads. And I'll tell you, I've eaten other fish uh, like amberjacks and a few others that um, when they get big, they get worms in them and you just don't eat that part of the fish or you cut it out. And uh, everything I've read said it's still safe to eat even though it seems kind of weird. But hey, I don't care. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go bold. Go bold or go home, all right? Go hard or go home. Uh, we caught this naked, we're gonna try this sucker out. All right, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm putting a lot of time into the preparation of the meat, uh, making sure all the bones are out, making sure the, any little red spots that look like little uh, worms might be cut out. And then we're gonna do the normal frying pot process over here. So I just wanted to inform you in case you were curious, you're trying the same thing at home. You may have caught a snakehead, cut it up, wonder what the heck you're looking at. That's what I found. I researched uh, the good old Google Help me out. I found a Virginia Tech website that had all the info about the, um, about the snakehead on there and all the, like, the factual info about the snakeheads and not just rumors or what other people said, all right, or actual scientific data from people that have been researching the snakehead here in Virginia. So we're gonna keep cleaning up this fish and then we're gonna fry this sucker up, right? Just wanna give you a heads up where we're at. 
All right, here we are. We're moved on to the next step. We're going to cook this sucker, all right? Let me show you what we got going on. Standard frying setup, right? We got the fish fillets and uh, some scrambled eggs, some uh, egg wash with some milk in there, thicken it up. That's going to help these breadcrumbs stick, all right? And I've got some seasonings in there, whatever, whatever kind of flavors you like. But that's standard breadcrumbs, standard egg wash, cleaned fish fillets up in there, and then some good old hot grease. So it's going to go from here to here to here to here. All right, here we go. We're going to fry them up. All right, here we go. First one in. All right, I'm going to take the, the meat from the egg, put it in here. Make sure it's coated really well. So we can get a little crisp on there as we fry it up. All right, and there's... There's easier ways of doing this. Right? I'm just trying to do it in a way that, uh, that you can see everything. Uh, I like to do it where I put the, the crumbs or the flour in a bag or in a bigger bowl and like shake it up, all right? And then I make sure it's coated really well. But here we go, first filet in there, chunk of a filet. There we go. Fry them up. everyone thanks for sticking around till the end to see what happens here we go my first time trying a snakehead all right I've uh, I've just read about it online I've done the research and basically we just fried it up okay like you would fry up any other fish first time trying it here we go I feel like I'm on bizarre foods that guy uh, Andrew Zimmer or whatever <laughs> but um, this is definitely bizarre eating a snakehead Hey, it was like it was like one of the best freshwater fish I've eaten. It's just white meat, like just good white meat. Boom! Got to go catch some more of these guys. All right, hope you enjoyed that fun little video. Just a real quick video. I'm ha happened to catch a snakehead in a little creek here in Virginia, and we went ahead, took this sucker home tonight, cleaned them right here in the kitchen, and uh, now we're frying them up. And sharing it with you, all right? So thanks for clicking another video. I'm going to finish eating the rest of these, uh, these chunks of fillets here and uh, get some more videos posted for you. All right, take it easy. We'll see you next time on Let's Roll Outdoors.